Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan With Elise, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we are organizing and maybe decluttering all of my washi. I have these two, I don't know why I'm shouting. I have these two big washi organizers. I will link these in the description for you. Um, and I have these both on my bookshelf. And even though I have the washi in them, I feel like every time I reach for washi in a video, like I can just reach and pull this out mid video, things are a mess. Like, as you can see, they're not really organized. They're falling over. And I figured it was time to get them organized. And why not do that on camera together? I also have a lot of washi that's just like kind of piled up on my desk. So I have, and I, oops, sorry about that squeak. I have an idea here and my idea, well, I was originally thinking that we were going to do this by like pattern and color. For example, we have these planty thing washies that are all stripe. So it was like, okay, we'll just take these out by, like I said, pattern and color and be able to kind of organize them that way. However, I feel like pattern isn't really going to be helpful because typically when I'm looking for a specific washi to use, I'm looking more for the color than like, wow, I really need a hexagon pattern here. So I think that we may need to go by color. So the best way I think I can think of to do this, and I'm just kind of going off of like what I'm first thinking of right now is with color. So we're going to pull out the reds. And then even though I'm going to have different types, like this is from Amazon, these I think should all be from Planny Thing. I feel like most of my washi is from Planny Thing. It's the washi that um, I tend to like the best or I use the most. I just wanted to kind of rip that so that it was clean. So we have those reds. This is sort of like in the red family. And then while we're here, I may as well start to pull out the like orange peach colors, which I don't think I have as many of, although now as I'm looking, I feel like there's more than I thought I had. So we'll pull these. This I think is plenty thing too. Some of these are Live Love Posh. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to tell the difference though between the plenty thing and Live Love Posh. Now in this drawer, this final drawer, I have these boxes of the washi tape, the thin washi tape essentials from Live Love Posh. I'm probably going to leave those as is, as long as I have enough room for them, which I should, because I will be taking some things out. Um, I'm going to take out the washi that I'm not using as much and don't necessarily need it front and center. Some examples of that are these patterned washies because I just, when I'm using washi, I tend to use it as like a color accent and not as much of needing the pattern part. The patterns could be really, really good in my journal. Like this is a happy planner from the adventure box. There's hair on it. Um, but it's, it's really the decorative washi that I reach for more. So I'm going to pull out I feel like that's what I maybe should have done first so that I could kind of have everything. I also have these Simply Gilded washies that I never use. I don't think I've ever used a Simply Gilded washi. And I feel like I've had them since the start of my planning because Simply Gilded is like the queen of washi. And I felt like when you start decorative planning, washi is, or Simply Gilded is what you need to have. Um, anything that I'm going to decide not like this one, this is the OG, I feel like the tuxedo black and white of Simply Gilded. It's just so funny of like what you realize or what I realize, I'll speak in I terms. Um, I'm not going to be using like I thought I would. So anything that I'm going to not keep will end up going to my Patreon members. I've been doing a monthly de-stash where um, I'm getting rid of things that I just don't find myself using. So, okay, that helps because we were able to kind of clear off a little bit there, but I think this one I'm gonna put back because I don't 
need it. We'll, we'll see what I do at the bottom, but I need to make a little bit more room here. And I moved these, I took these out, but I didn't really need to take those out yet. So we have the red, I guess this could maybe be in the red family. This is a plenty thing. Maybe we're going to put it over here as a maybe. And then we're going to see what else I have. So these are both in the red family. Um, those are mostly black. Then we have more because I was very into the um, grid washi for a while. I still like it. I just don't reach for it as much because there are other options. So I'm also going to pull out the oranges here. And then I have some more orange down at the bottom. And any time that I just have the edge there and it's not sticking as much, we're just going to rip it off because I don't need that. Now I have some more orange on the side of my desk from the planning thing launch on August 1st. So that's on the side of my desk because I had just filmed with it. And now we have the orange. Now I always feel like I don't have enough yellow washi and looking here where I can actually see all the washi I have, I'm, I'm right. Like I barely have any yellows and the yellows are all kind of like different kinds of yellow. We have these two, we have this one, it's kind of like a mustard yellow. I feel like I'd maybe put this in the yellow family. This one's a little bit of a strange color. This is probably yellow. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's yellow and what's green. And it's like, yes, this is six rolls of yellow washi, but actually there's two more to pull out. But it's never the yellow that I need. That's the problem that I have. So we have more yellow. And then this, this one is from Live Love Posh. That's how I can tell it's a little bit smaller. So I need to be on the hunt for some better colored yellow washi. I found another orange one sitting on the corner of my desk. Okay, orange. Um, we're going to do pink. I know that that's technically not rainbow, but when I'm going to be looking for this in rainbow order, I feel like pink is going to make sense. So we'll pull out the pinks. I'm just trying to show them to you as I do this. I was originally going to do this as an Instagram reel, and then I just didn't. <laughs> and when I was doing a video yesterday with a lot of different shades of pink here, these are pretty... Um, I was like, you know what? I am just gonna do this washi organizing because I'm sick of not having my washi organized. And for whatever reason was blocking me, probably mentally, from doing it as an Instagram reel, was like, okay, we're just gonna do this as a YouTube video. And I found a slot in my channel and decided to do it. Okay, we have pink. Oh, there's another one down here hiding another orange. There's a lot of orange washi, probably because I feel like of Halloween. This is, I would put this in the pink family. This one? Yeah, I'd probably put that in the pink. It could maybe go orange peach, but it'll go in the pink family. Okay, um, I have two more Live Love Posh boxes down here. So I'm gonna put those in with the other boxes that I had try to show you down at the bottom. So now I have those Live Love Posh boxes and those can stay in their boxes. Okay, red, orange, yellow, we need green. So I definitely have a decent amount of green. I have to decide what I'm gonna do about multicolors like this. Those may have to be on their own. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to work best. So we'll pull out the greens. There's a lot of green too. I feel like between spring, summer, Christmas, green is a popular color for washi. Oh, found another yellow. Ah, I'm trying to be, to be able to show this all to you, but it doesn't all fit. I need bigger fingers. This was the other yellow that I found. And then one thing just fell down. Actually, I think this may need to go in one of those Live Love Posh boxes, but um, I don't know if I want them in the boxes because I may not reach for them as much if they're in there. Okay, we have our greens. Um, we need oh, green blue. There's probably going to be a lot of blue. And then once I have these within like the color that I need them, they're green, 
we're going to sort of organize them within the color. This I can do with the stripe because this is multiple shades of blue. I need to be better about like just taking off that little edge. I think I've only run out of a roll, like finished a roll of washi. I don't know. Less than three times in my life. And so that little piece to pull off is not going to be like a matter of whether or not I finished that roll of washi. All right, we've got really pretty blues. These are all plenty thing. So plenty thing washi, you can save using code Elise 10. It's really good washi. It's inexpensive. Um, if you haven't picked it up yet, I highly recommend picking some up. There is also a washi tape monthly subscription that starts on the 15th of the month that I will be sharing here on YouTube. Okay, we have a couple of these plaid blues. This, I guess, is a green. I don't know, it's kind of like an, a really, really, really dark one. This is from Elise Brienne Design. This is pretty, but it's that pattern that, again, I buy, but I don't really use. And then we have another blue over here. Forgot to look at the washi that I had sitting on the side of my desk. So this I would put into the green category. Sorry, that, that didn't focus. There we go. This I think we're putting in pink, and this is going to go in this like orangey brown category, I think, that I have down there. All right, um, purple, right? Is that we need purple, we need black. So I have purples. I actually don't have a lot of purple washi. Three of them that I'm going to pull out are from the Planny Thing launch on the first. Oh, and I have some more on my bookshelf. There we go. These are my purples. This has to go down. Come on, you can do this. Oh, and I see another purple. Okay, we're making progress. I wasn't sure if this was going to take a really, really long time or I was just convincing myself it was going to take a long time, but I think we're pretty good with time. We have pink, um, another green over here that's going to go there. And then what I need to decide about, this is where I'm like, mm, cause these are sort of in color order. Let me, I'll show you in a second when I can move this and not risk everything toppling over. So these are sort of very, very highly high, big emphasis on sort of in order. Like you can see the greens are kind of close together, the reds and pinks, cause years ago I did do this. However, I will say like most of these are Happy Planner washi and I just am not using washi that's this thin anymore. This is such thin washi that I feel like, ow, <laughs> I feel like, ow, I feel like after years, it just doesn't adhere to the page because there's so little adhesive on it. This is also a very, very old washi. We need a category for black, so that definitely has to happen. Um, this purple tie dye is kind of cool, so we're going to put it there. And then I think that these are all going to go into my de-stash pile because I'm just not using them. And again, like I remember when Happy Planner had those sets, right? Like they came in kind of like a roll, sort of like this, where they were each color and there was some crazy good sale. And I bought so many of them and I'm just not using them. I did love these purples. Oh, this is where it gets hard, right? It's like, is this something I actually want to get rid of? I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to do it because I can't remember the last time I used these. But it's hard because it was something that I loved at one point. I'm just not using and it's taking up space. Everything that I'm learning about decluttering, right? Because the more you're um, reading about things, the more you see it online because of the algorithm. So I'm seeing a lot of decluttering Facebook tips and Instagram and not really TikTok. So I don't really spend much time on TikTok, but they're all saying that like holding on to things because of emotion isn't really the best 
because it's taking up room in our lives. Here's more Simply Gilded. It's taking up room every time I do a video. Here's a, here's a really good example of this. Every time I film a video and I want to, I'm just kind of showing you this as I go along, and I want to use washi, I have to open these drawers, sort through what I'm not using to find what I want to use. And that's annoying. And so not only is it taking up room in my office, but it's taking up time out of my day and it's taking up storage. I'm getting rid of, I feel like of so much here that I may even be able to not have one of these boxes. This one I am going to keep. I'm going to allow myself one sentimental one to keep. This is the like OG planet happy life. And then whoops. Some of these are like old Miss Maker that we have here. There's like a wine one. I don't know why I decided I needed a wine one. Nope, that's going to topple. We need another stack. I have one, two, three, four, five, six stacks back here of washi that I'm not going to keep. I'm also going to do the discs. We're going to keep the discs in addition to Plan a Happy Life. This is actually the first Kelva Plan washi ever. And it has this yellow floral and it's really pretty, but it doesn't, it's not something I need anymore. Okay. This is a pretty blue. We'll keep that blue. All right. That was really good, Elise. I'm proud of myself. Now we still have some more like leftover ones that need to be color coded. We have a purple solid here. We have black. So black is going to get its own I write these down here. Those need to be put away. Um, black is going to get its own category. I do like this thin one. I think this is Live Love Posh. If so, that has to go back in the box. Black, where did, where's my black category? Oh, it was right here. Sorry. Um, these are not being kept. This is going to go into the purple category. And then we have another black. So oops, let's kind of dust those off. You can see right here, I'm going to first put back in the blacks. I don't know why I put that that way, because I still have a whole other thing here of black, but we're going to sort through those in a moment. So I feel like with the blacks, maybe I should be doing this by like roll shape and size. So if I do that, it might be a little bit harder than I think, but we'll see. I'm gonna do this second. That's not black, that's blue. That's blue. It's not gonna be perfect with the roll shape and size. It's just gonna, just gonna eyeball it. I'm not entering any washi organizing competitions. Um, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. And I feel like where I put this, you're not going to be able to see it as well. So we're going to pause on the black. All right. We are going to first put down the reds. Oops. This is what happens. Now the question is, whether or not I'll be able to keep up with this. I think I will, because I feel like if I'm going through the effort of doing a video to do this, then we're gonna keep up with it. Um, what might be next in my decluttering, see here, wait, before I get to what might be next, here's where I struggle. Like I could put these browns here, but then, oh wait, there's also some orange, like the peach, because then I'm gonna be off it's not all gonna fit perfectly. It's annoying, but I do have actually more orange over on the side again, so we can just kind of continue. I'm thinking that my next declutter might be sticker books. I say might very strongly because I recently destashed a lot of sticker books. Um, what I did was I sent to Patreon members old seasonal books. So for example, Kel of a Plan's fall books from last year, because she's going to come out with new fall books. There's already two that have been released. Yellow, 
R O red, orange, yellow. We need yellow next. I always have to do the Roy G bit because I can't remember. Um, and then in addition to getting rid of all of those seasonal books, what I also did was we had a recent Patreon Zoom and we had a game night and we played games for an hour. And every person who was on the Zoom won at some point. There were 14 of us, I think. It was a smaller Zoom call. And so I sent a sticker book. I mailed out a sticker book to every person who was on the Zoom and um, got rid of a lot more sticker books that way. So I don't know that I, I, I don't want to say I don't have enough to do another de-stash, but it is a little bit um, different because I was selective about like what I got rid of. Okay. I'm kind of like glancing around my office to see if there are any like rolls of washi that are sitting somewhere that are gonna need to fit in here. So look how nice this already looks. So we have this, I'm gonna put back in. Then we need a second one, a second drawer for the rest of the colors. So next up is going to be blue. I think I can do this. One swoop. Not bad. Elise Toby Ratner, not bad. <laughs> okay. Um, blue and then purple. Okay. I think black is really going to need its own section. Actually, hmm, here's where things get interesting when you're decluttering and putting things back. Especially, well, typically when you're decluttering, you can have the intent to not buy more, right? That's one of, that's like what I've been doing in my bedroom. The challenge here is that I don't buy washi anymore. It's sent to me. So I feel like I have to leave room for more that's coming. I don't have as much room over here, so I'll have to figure out what to do when the next round of washi gets delivered. <laughs> but I was like, okay, we can just fill up the rest of this one with black and then be done. But then I'm not making any space for, for what's to come. I was, oh wait, we still have, we have three. I have to figure out what to do here. I was feeling like I was getting rid of so much that I might be able to reduce to just one container of three drawers versus four. I also just realized that I'm using two different drawer things here, so I'm probably gonna need to deal with that. But how do I wanna do this? Hmm. Okay. I think that the best thing to do is to look at my black washi and see what I want to get rid of. Because at a glance, this is looking like a lot of washi. So I know that I don't necessarily want these. I've been standing up most of this video. I'm sitting down. So hopefully the angle is still good. We should make sure it is. <laughs> okay. Um, this I want. This I want. This is green. So this is going to have to go into the green section. And then as I'm doing this, we're going to put them in here. I'm going to put them in this way because part of what makes my washi a mess is when it's not full and they all fall over. So we're going to just start to slide them in this way and as I get more if I need to make room I will. Let's see if I can try to show you both of these. Yes, I think you can see both. Okay. Um, not keeping that washi. These are washies that I'll keep. These we're going to keep so that can fit there. Let's take out the ones that I put in the other drawer before. Oh, this, those little, those little remnants just like make me bananas. push back a little bit. Oh, we have our first washi avalanche of the morning. 
All right, I think that this rainbow is really cool. I don't know that I see myself using it. I think that there was a time that I would, but I don't know that I see it now. Nothing, we're not doing this thin one. I'm kind of just saying no to that really, really thin one as a rule. This one, this black pin dot is a little bit thicker, so we're gonna keep that for now. But if I don't use it, then I'll get rid of it. More of these blacks, these are all like those Happy Planner ones that I loved, I really loved at one point. I'm just not loving them anymore because a product I like better has come out and that's okay, that happens. These thin ones, see I'm making room. I feel like I'm getting rid of almost as much as I'm keeping. This is probably my favorite washi ever and we're keeping it. This is like that teeny tiny scallop that I would love to put at the top of boxes. So we're gonna keep this one if I can manage to make it fit. And then get these last black ones down. There are a couple more black ones. These two. Please fit, please fit, please fit. Okay. Now, there's a couple things here that I'm gonna do to make myself a little bit more room. Because first of all, right now I can't take anything out. That was my fault. That's not the way to organize to then not have any room for anything. I'm going to take this bigger one out and this is gonna go in that other drawer that has those Live Love Posh um, boxes of washi. Okay, I think that's it with the black. These are the other blacks. These two tiny little scallop are that old favorite and that stripe. So we're gonna keep those. If I can fit them, I feel like I should be able to because they're really small. Is there one in here that I don't see myself using? I probably don't see myself using this floral one. So we're gonna get rid of that. I'm being like ruthless here with these. Um, all right, so now we have, did I do it? I think we have the three drawers. Wait a second. The problem here is that, like I said, this is the square like knob and this one is the circle knob. So we have to fix that. What I haven't yet decided on what I'm doing are these multicolor stripes. Um, I need to clean this off. I have a feeling that I might take like a small basket and put, oh wait, but we also have the Happy Planner, the two Happy Planner ones. Maybe we'll have room for them over here. I think that I may take some sort of small basket and put the stripes in so that it's not necessarily something that I reach for all the time, but if I need to find them, I can, I can, rather than have an entire second organizer. So I think that this is gonna be a good method for me. I feel like, I don't know how many I have here. Maybe we'll do a count. But I think, that I feel, I don't think that I feel, I feel like I'm so much more organized with my washi than I was a little while ago. And now when I'm looking for a specific color, I'll be able to find it more easily. I was thinking of also creating a washi swatch book or page, but I don't think I need it. I feel like I don't have enough that I can't just glance and see what I have. So let's get these greens in. Oops. Come on. Okay, I need to push off and get up for a second. So if I move this over, we have this. This is so annoying. This is what happens when I swatch washi. We have all of these like extra bits. Okay, 
So we have threads, orange, pink, yellow, green in the first drawer. We have blues, purples, and blacks in the second drawer. And we have these Live Love Posh. I didn't show them, so we can show them a bit. Um, we have thin colors, or thin washi in tropical. We have thin washi in black. Oh, those are pretty. We have thin rainbow. Oh, I think this blue went here. That's why I pulled it out before. Isn't it funny that I can just like tell that it's where it goes? We have thin pastel colors. Washi tape rainbow. I think that's the same as this. Um, code Elise 10 will also give you a discount on Live Love Posh. So some of those blacks definitely belonged in here. Like, I feel like this one definitely belongs in there. Um, I'd have to look back at the website. I think this one actually goes in here. So I'm actually able to make a little bit more room by putting things back where they belong. Okay, this is something I think I got off Amazon. I don't know that I see myself using these. So we're gonna get rid of them. Look at me. I have this Alta New washi, which I am gonna keep because it has blues and I feel like I'm always struggling to find blues. And then what we can do down here is grab those extra stripe ones that I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with. Oh, this black definitely goes in there. So now we have the stripe. I can grab the Happy Planner ones and some of the colors that I couldn't quite figure out where they were gonna go. I also have seasonal, so we have this Halloween themed, and this needs to go in here. All right, so not perfectly organized, but pretty well organized as compared, oh, there's more, as compared to what I had at the start of this video, put this organizer on washi. So I have a lot that I'm getting rid of, and I have, three organized drawers and one organizer. So I think we're set. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you like this kind of video and maybe we can find a way to do more of them. This is the easiest because I can just sit here at my desk and these are so small. It's definitely harder when it comes to other products. Um, but again, I'll link these organizers in the description if you're interested in picking them up. I've had them for years. They're really good. I like that I can see everything. And... I think that maybe we're all set. So thanks again, and I'll see you soon.